Okay, I've been asked when you're changing single phase to three phase using two three phase motors, exactly how you wire the motors together. Well, if you look at this plate up here, you can see that it can run off of 208, 220, or 440, either one. So it's actually got nine wires inside. Okay, let's look at the left side of that diagram under 208, 220. And if you look at that, if you look at the very bottom, 4, 5, and 6 are wired together because those lines between them. 1's wired to 7, 2's wired to 8, 3 wired to 9. And then on the top, you can see little wires coming out of 1, 2, and 3. Those are your power coming into the motor. So... The 4, 5, and 6 is not going to be connected to anything but themselves. And the uh, 1, 2, and 3 are actually going to be connected to the power, or in this case, to the other motor. The other side is 440, and you're not going to use that. But the reason it's set up that way is there's actually two sets of windings in here. If they're wired in parallel, it's 208, 220. If they're wired in series, it's 440. That's really all that is. Now here's a picture of the uh, cover the motor off where all they're wired together. Now you can see there's that top one with T3 has got black. That's going to the other motor. Uh, you got a white one going in T2 and T8. That's going to the other motor. And you got that red one down below. I can't see which one's which. Okay, that, that's your connections. Those three blue wire nuts are your connections. The one, the little red one down below, that's actually uh, terminals that are all wired together. But all you have to do is take a wire from the, each of those blue wire nuts, which was originally the power coming into the motor, and uh, simply run it to the other motor and then run uh, power, your uh, single phase power, into uh, the first motor. The wiring diagram pretty much shows how it is. Note that each one of these things has three windings. And that's what those three windings are on the wiring diagram. And that's about all there is to it. I hope this makes sense. Uh, you know, it's a lot simpler than you'd think it is because there is only just the three wires that you have to connect up. So good luck with your uh, single phase to three phase conversion.